see detailing and we have a GT3 991.2 here. This is an incredible machine. God, Porsche hit the money on this thing with the new 4.0 engine. So fast, it's got this massive red line. Sounds beautiful, but it, there are some tragedies that can happen with cars like this. Uh, this customer took this car to another shop and paid for a custom install of um, paint protection film. And uh, everything, on the, everything on the car was actually templated and um, the install was just not done uh, according to expectations. Uh, now there's two ways to install paint protection film. You can either do bulk, which is the way we do it, where you get a custom fit, where you get, you can wrap and tuck more edges in, or you can do templated patterns, which templated patterns will protect the paint, but they leave you with tons of like lines and exposed edges and gaps. And on cars like this, customers just usually don't want to see that stuff. Uh, it's not saying that one way is right or one way is wrong, but if you're going to sell a job as a custom install, you should actually do a custom install and not make it an obvious templated car. So this just got here. We're gonna rip all the film off this. We'll document it along the way. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna show the difference of what our installs like versus theirs. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe with OC Detailing. Please subscribe for more videos. detailing and we finished the GT3 so this car came in because originally uh, somebody else had wrapped this car they did a 100% install uh, and they didn't do a very good job uh, um, not for what the customer expected it was uh, the customer had paid for a custom install and expected everything to be as seamless as it could get uh, but that wasn't the case it was all pre-cut it was very sloppily installed pre-cut installation at, at that um, so the customer was not happy with the car, uh, the results of it at all. Um, so he brought it into us and asked us what we could do and I, I was confident we could make it look tremendously better than it did. Um, so we removed all the old paint or all the old paint protection film off the car. Uh, we found multiple places where there were cuts in the paint but luckily we were able to buff those out. We were able to do some wet sanding and polishing. Uh, after we pulled the film off too, we discovered the shape of the paint was pretty horrific. Uh, so we did a full paint correction on this car before we reinstalled 100% uh, uh, custom SunTech Ultra install with every edge possible wrapped and tucked. There's not a single piece on this car that was patterned. Uh, even down to the bumper, um, we were actually able to do the whole front bumper 
in one piece minus little things. So uh, instead of having like a four piece bumper that was misaligned and not butted up right, uh, we ended up doing this bumper in three pieces, but everything's all big one piece except for the two little things at the vents, uh, which I was really happy with the way that came out. Um, really put a lot of time into this, this, this car. I had close to probably 180 hours into it uh, between removal, paint correction, re uh, reinstalling everything, uh, wheels off detail. We topped everything off with Seacourt's Finest Reserve just to really give it that extra bling and make sure it's really easy to maintain for our customer in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Joe with OC Detailing. Please subscribe for more videos.